And we start with the breaking news coming out of China. More than 100 people have died after an earthquake struck the northwestern Ganshu province. More than 250 other people have been injured in the 6.2 magnitude quake. Rescuers are braving freezing weather with temperatures below minus 13 degrees Celsius to search for survivors. The government has dispatched teams of rescue workers to assist local emergency crews. Well, let's go live to our China correspondent, Stephen McDonnell, who joins us from our bureau in Beijing. Stephen, what more can you tell us? A powerful shallow earthquake struck the Tibetan plateau just before midnight, bringing down people's homes and killing 118 residents as they slept. Of those, we're being told 105 people died in Gansu province and 13 in neighbouring Qinghai. The rescue effort started through the night into the early hours of the morning and has continued today in very difficult freezing conditions. We're being told that 1,400 um, firefighters have been sent to assist in the rescue effort. We're getting footage of emergency tents being set up. Now, you imagine one of the terrible things when this sort of accident happens is that the electricity and the water is cut. Now, if you're a, an emergency team trying to get into a, a home where rubble has been collapsed and you don't even have an electricity, they've got to be using their own generators, so they've got to get a lot of equipment in there. For that reason, local officials have said that they don't want ordinary people, volunteers and the like, to be clogging up the roads and heading there. In fact, they want people to stay clear from the roads so they can get more rescuers in there and these are remote areas difficult terrain the roads have in some cases been destroyed so they've got to use bulldozers and the like to clear them or repair them to get people in there the helicopters that they have would obviously are being used also but yeah yeah a very um, tough situation up there the only blessing I suppose you could um, say about this is that it, because it's a remote area, not that many people live there. And although this has been a very powerful, as I say, shallow earthquake, very destructive, if it had been in a city, you would be talking about a much higher death toll. Yeah, I mean, I'm just reading here, Stephen, that nearly 5,000 buildings and structures have been damaged. So it's assumed that those who have survived this, they're outside uh, in these freezing temperatures. And that's a real concern, isn't it? Yes. And, and look, I mean, if the numbers of those missing are to be believed, the death toll may not go up that high. But I mean, who knows if that those are correct figures? Of course... China is experienced in terms of dealing with big earthquakes and so they will be able to quite quickly put up emergency shelters and the like. I mean, we're getting footage of locals, you know, you know setting up fires and uh, cooking noodles on them to try and stay warm, but it won't be long until they have emergency uh, shelters put up in the area and, of course, They'll be trying to move as many people as possible out the other way towards the you know, bigger cities, Lanzhou and the like. Taiwan has offered help in this situation. I've, I've noticed the Taiwan president saying uh, she's expressed condolences to China. And what can they do to help in this situation? That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, well, Taiwan, they're very experienced when it comes to earthquakes. They've got good teams, sniffer dogs and the like. And I remember in the 2008 earthquake, the terrible, huge 2008 earthquake here, when we had more than 80,000 dead, there were rescue teams from Taiwan. But that was a different time. And, you know, I, I just don't expect that the Chinese government will accept that help because of the political differences that currently exist between Taipei and Beijing. Nevertheless, it is nice of them to offer and partly it's because they have a lot of experience dealing with earthquakes and they might be able to in some way help.